We use ballistics gel to demonstrate some of the differences between lead and non-lead ammunitions. When a lead bullet hits an animal, it breaks apart, leaving sometimes hundreds of pieces in remains that are left in the field. The ballistic gel freezes the moment of impact. It allows us to look at how a bullet reacts when it hits an animal, and we're able to capture it and see the impact of the bullet. After we've captured the bullet in the gel, we can radiograph those gels, and that gives us the true picture of the extent of the fragmentation. When looking at the x-ray of the path of the lead bullet, we can see how much the lead bullet fragments. All the white spots in this radiograph are lead fragments. When we weigh lead ammunition, we find that it can lose up to 40% of its original weight. Wildlife species such as bald eagles, golden eagles, and California condors inadvertently ingest lead fragments as they're feeding on remains left in the field. Repeated exposures over time lead to detrimental health effects and even to death. The number one factor limiting the recovery of the critically endangered California condor is the inadvertent ingestion of lead fragments on the landscape. You know, one of the things that hunters can definitely do is, is by simply using a different tool, they can eliminate an entire source of lead that will then uh, dramatically reduce exposures in, in, in wildlife and especially in the California condor.